What's up everybody? This is Six and this video is going to be a bunch of building tips that I've learned along the way. Uh, th these are all for people who are just starting out. I will also have a link uh, to another video I've made for more advanced tips for people who have who want to you know build something like that. So anyway let's get started. Okay so here's a really simple tip but I think it's pretty cool. Um, using the yellow mushrooms for a nightlight. All you have to do is throw down an item stand on a little desk by your bed, place a yellow mushroom on it, and boom! You got this really nice looking nightlight. So that's a real simple trick that, I don't know, I just think it's really, really cool. Okay, so this one's a real simple one, but you don't see a lot of people doing this. But you can make uh, real good looking fences uh, out of core wood. It's super easy, but uh, yeah, for some reason, like I said, you just don't see a lot of people doing this. It's way better than that other fence you can you see like that I have over here by um, my farm. So yeah, that's just that's just a little build idea. Looks good. It's nice and sturdy. That's a good fence. Okay, so this is a uh, trick for campfires. Um, you need to have them on the, the ground, but once you put them on the ground, you can then place a floor. I can get it in there. You can then place a floor under them, like that, and you can see that now it looks like you have a, a campfire inside the base. <clears throat> okay, so here's a little trick for you guys that, that are afraid that your boat is going to float away on you. Um, it's not, but in case you're paranoid, you can come over here and put little gates at the edge of your boat dock. And uh, that works. That works real good. And um, like I said, you can sleep easy at night knowing that it'll, your boat's going to stay right where you parked it. Okay, so here we see how you can use a pickaxe to uh, create little um, paths through the mountain. It's actually really easy. All you do is um, grab your pickaxe and just start mining. All right, that's a rock. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it right here. You hit it once, push forward, hit it again, push forward. You just keep going and going and going. And you can you can use it to act actually make some really useful paths. So in case you need to get a cart, oh man, pesky pesky little thing attacks me when I don't have any arrows. But yeah, you get the picture. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. This is how you make roads in the mountain. <laughs> All right, so this one is pretty obvious, but build yourself a moat. The reason why is any sort of wall you build, even if you build a big stone wall, it, it can get damaged by enemies. But this inner wall right here, the stone that I'm banging my head on right now, uh, nothing's going to damage that. So if you have a nice moat around your base, it will keep, it will keep you safe. So I'm sure everybody probably thought of this themselves, but the fact that monsters can't damage the ground makes moats uh, extremely useful so go ahead and get yourself one I'll, I'll try to get out of here all right so here's a nice little nifty trick you can take um, one of your smelters and put some some stone pillars around it and then put a charcoal kiln on top and it totally looks like a mushroom and not like anything else that's a cool trick Okay, so here's a uh, cool way of making a light source um, to match your castle aesthetic. If you're sick of using torches, uh, you can throw down a stone pillar, put a campfire on top of it, throw some little small little pieces of wood around the frame, and it gives you this nice regal, uh, regal look, you know? It's very kingly. It looks good. I think... Uh, you know, it's good for if you get bored of torches, you know? I don't know. Just a nice little idea. Okay, so here we have how to use uh, shields as, like, a dinner plate. Uh, this is super simple. You just um, place down one of the item stands, 
and then you put the shield on it. But then to to make it work as a plate, you have to put down um, item more item stands underneath it uh, to to stack them up. See how I have it stacked up there? So then you'd like you'd throw the shield down, and then they pop through, so you can still uh, put stuff on it. So that looks good. Now you have a plate. Not such a savage anymore. All right. The next tip is to um, how to build these like these pointed Japanese kind of looking uh, outcroppings on your on your roofs. I think it really looks good. And uh, here's how you do it. It's really simple. Uh, when you have a roof, here I'll destroy these. So when your roof is like this and ready to go, you just uh, place one of these directly in the center. That's one of the, the 26 degree uh, roof corners. And then you just match it up with, oh crap. You just match it up with a, a slanted roof tile. And there you go. That's a nice way to have these real cool um, roofs. Okay, so here's a few tips for, for uh, uh, somebody who's just starting out on Valheim. These little quarter walls you can use to stack boxes, you can stack beds with them, and if you need to, you can even uh, stack things for your, uh, for your workbenches up, up above them to save room. Like you could throw this tanning rack up on a, a shelf above the, the workbench because they, they need to all stay close. So I mean that's a really simple trick. Uh, but for a lot of beginners, it'll, it'll be pretty helpful. So I decided to throw that into the video. Okay, so here you can see that when you find a troll cave, you can actually use it as kind of like a little makeshift base if you need to. Throw down a rug, a bed, a campfire, and look, I got my comfort level to five. So you can do that to regain your rested bonus when you're out and about, or throw a bed down if you need to, uh, if you need to have a, a spawn point nearby. Uh, that's just kind of kind of useful for uh, for your explorers out there okay here's a cool trick to save some space if you're building like a forge room or a workshop and you don't you need the uh, the workbench to build but you don't want it cluttering up your workspace you throw it in the ground there dig under dig a hole underneath throw the workbench down and then uh, cover it up and you're good to go then you can save some space. See, I wouldn't be able to fit this thing in here if there was another workbench. So yeah, throw your workbenches in the, in the ground. Okay, so here we have a real simple trick. Um, I think this looks really good. It's more of a decoration thing, but you can use banners as doors. Um, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna keep people out, but it looks good, you know? And those little tiny doors I don't really like the look of those, but I really like the look of having curtains for a doorway. Okay, so there it is. Um, those are some of the beginner tips and tricks that I've found in Valheim. Uh, I hope they were helpful, and uh, if you want to find some more tips and tricks, I have another video made for more advanced build building. And for people who, have, uh, who aren't quite starting out, people who have been playing for a while. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please uh, leave a like and throw me a sub or and hit that bell if you want to see some more videos. So yeah, thanks.